My brother Matthew plays college basketball as a freshman in Hunter College. For as long as I can remember, Matt has always been into basketball. From back then to now, he's always had love for the game and has the awards to show for it. I think we're going to have a good game last time we versed them. Uh, we got one point victory off of my game winning shot, so I don't know. They look kind of kind of small, so kind of take them to the post, drive on them, and uh, I think this should be an easy win. But we have less less of our guys here, so I think I'm, I'm about to step up and like uh, win this game for us. Um, if I wasn't an athlete or a basketball player, I would definitely be in the, the music field or be like a music producer. I have a strong love for music. Ever since I was young, I used to play in elementary school all the way through high school, playing the saxophone and doing a whole bunch of like other stuff with music. So yeah, if that would, that would be my main profession that I would study on if it wasn't for basketball. Uh, in order for Matt to be NBA material, he's going to have to approach his game defensively the same way he does offensively. Good job. Play the lane. I believe Matthew can uh, excel and probably be a greater defensive player than offensive player. But um, being a spotlight grabber that he is, he's always looking for the big shot, the big score. And unless something really, really happens that motivates him defensively, I think his emphasis will always be on offense. And once he combines the two equally, I believe he'll take the step to a great player. Coaching Matt, I believe his strong points are never shying away from the big shot, being able to perform under pressure, and being in opposing courts, never letting um, the crowd get the better of him. I believe that Matthew always had the ability to try to lead a team when the game was on the line and more times than not, as a matter of fact, most times coming through. What made me get into basketball was basically my dad and my family. Uh, my dad was a longtime Knicks fan, still is. He loves the NBA and he really encouraged me to play basketball ever since I was three years old. He used to take me to the park and go shoot around even though I couldn't really shoot. But yeah, he, that was a big part of my playing into basketball. My favorite award has to be Frank Woodfin's character award that I won at Street to Street in Harlem, New York. The award basically is uh, showmanship of character, uh, respectfulness to the coaches, the refs, and all around being a good guy. So that's when I won the award. Um, I see my basketball career take me far, whether it's being in the NBA, which I really hope, or even playing overseas. Um, I wish to fulfill my dream and play basketball as a professional and getting paid for it and uh, having the life that I always wanted for me and my family. Yeah, boy. Good job. Play the pass lane, boy. Good job. Good job. Stop ball, stop ball, stop ball. Come on, Matt. Yeah, boy. Yo, swing it. Swing, wing. Yo, Josh, it's the wing. Turn this up. Come on, Matt. There you go, boy. Uh oh, uh oh. Good job. That's it. Play that pass and look. Oh, there's another little Let's go, Matt. Turn it's about to happen. Hey, shooter, shooter, shooter. Yeah, bud. Where you going, Maddie? I would say ever since Matt was little and he used to shoot all the baskets at the other team's court, even though it was a stupid thing to do, he always made it, and we knew eventually if he knew what end of the court to shoot at, he'd probably be pretty good. <laughs> My favorite 
<laughs> what made you get into basketball? We'll do it live! We'll do it live! Fuck this script! We'll do it live! Alright. As a coach, what would you say is Matthew's strong points? Just being a ball hog, basically never passing, and just... This <laughs> what made you get into basketball? <laughs> Um, when I was younger, I used to be... I don't know, man. Matthew. Get it out. <laughs> it's so stupid.